Welcome back to the stage of history. party's extension, you may dial it at any recruiting for independent contractors or drivers. Press 3. Car Roadrunner, this is Tony. Hey, Tony, how's it going, man? Ah, doing okay, man. Doing okay. What's going on with you? Ah, uh, man, it's going good. It's going good. Happy New Year and all that other good stuff. Are you a recruiter? Yeah, I am a recruiter. Are you uh, a driver? But I'm a prospective driver. I'm just giving you guys a call today. I see your trucks out here all over the road and kind of interested in getting some information about it, if I may. You mind if I go uh, go over a Q&A with you? Because I got questions. Hopefully you got answers. Sure. How much experience do you got? I have three years. Okay. Are you currently driving for anybody right now? Uh, yes, I am. No, I'm just saying, what kind of position are you looking for? Are you looking for a... A company over the road position or at least purchase over the road position? Uh, basically, I'm just interested in finding out about the company in general. Well, fire away. Let me see if I, where do you live at, first off? That would give me a better idea. All know, right, what cool. Will be better for you. Ohio. Are you in the Cleveland area? Yes, I am. Toledo, Cleveland? Yes. Okay, uh, well, two things. One, my reefer division or my drive band division. Uh, they're both uh, good divisions uh, out of the Cleveland area. I have a terminal for my drive-in in Cuyahoga Falls, uh, and then also my reefer division where, you know, we, we load loads out of Bedford Heights, Ohio all the time. First off, you, you guys don't offer CDL training, right? You, you guys is, is straight experience, right? Right. All yeah, right. You gotta have, so, if, you went, if, you got, if you graduated from a trucking school, you, we have to have a copy of your certificate, and you have to have at least six months with a reputable pool company. Uh, and if not, you, you have to have at least one full year. So, as 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 you know, I'm out of Ohio. So, what other hire areas do you have? We hire everywhere. Other than the Bedford, do you have any other terminals? Where's the terminals located? We got them everywhere, all around the United States. Oh, okay. California, Georgia, North Carolina. Connecticut, New York, Maine, Chicago. Awesome. Is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much is the sign-on bonus? It just depends on which uh, on which division, you know. Okay. If you lease purchase a truck with us, then through our drive-in division, uh, there's a potential $5,000 bonus. If, if you bring your own truck, uh, there's a potential $10,000 bonus. But that's on a quarterly bonus. It's not like you get it a sign-on. It's it's uh it's based off of your uh, it's based off of your performance. You know how many miles you get credited okay. with the points. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm gonna get you over to Brandon. He does the over road. I just do intermodal. So give me just a second. I'm gonna transfer you. Okay. Recruiting. This is Brandon. Hey Brandon, how's it going, man? Oh, not too bad. How are you? All right, all right. I got uh, some questions, and hopefully you can you got some answers for me about uh, road running. Oh, uh, let's see what I can do for you. Do you guys require hair follicles, hair follicle tests for pre-employment drug tests? No, we just do UA. All right. Is there an agility test requirement? For company drivers. What is your policy on felon? I'm not going to disqualify you from coming on with us. I mean, we'll look at everything as a whole. Awesome. Driving history, work history, CSA score. Where's the orientation held at? We can do an orientation in Indianapolis. Do we get paid for orientation? And if so, how long is orientation? You get $100 when you finish orientation. You also get $400 towards fuel. So essentially, you get 500 bucks for finishing orientation. New drivers that's had like less than a year to come on board with you guys and to be trained you in You can take drivers with a minimum of six months, mm -hmm. but they had to go to track the trailer school and I need the certificate. Oh, uh, okay, okay, so you got, okay. I don't awesome. take new drivers, but I can take an experienced driver. What's the starting cent per mile? The way our terminal to terminal works, the route is what you get paid. There's tons of different pay scales. Where you pick up to where you deliver is what you make. Start at a buck, they get all the way up to a dollar sixty. Plus your fuel surcharge. Fuel surcharge is twenty nine cents. Okay. Is this for company drivers as well? 
No, I've been going over 100% owner output. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What about what about for company drivers? What's what's the simple amount for them? Depends on their experience level. Three. Starts at 42. I can get all the way up to 48. I got three years. You'd mm -hmm. probably be around 45. Yeah. In that range. Is the pay based on straight miles or is it a sliding scale? No, it's nothing sliding. Do you guys offer pay advances? No. How often does the pay increase? Every 12 months for company drivers. It doesn't change for IT. Gotcha. You get a new contract every year, the rates might change a little bit, but company drivers every 12 months. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? Yes and no. It's offered, but it's not mandatory. All right. Do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? After a year, you get one week paid time off. All right. What about holiday? No. Do you offer breakdown pay and detention pay? Yes, after three hours. How often do layovers happen, and what's the pay on that? After three hours. Can you tell me what's the pay on a, on a layover? $12 an hour up to 75 for a day. Second day is 100, third day is 100. If it goes longer than that, we'll do an average of the week of your past eight weeks on the road. Are there multiple stop pay there? $25 for any additional fix. All right. What benefits do you offer? United Healthcare after 60 days. Do you require hazmat? If I get my hazmat while working for the company, will you guys reimburse me for the hazmat? You need to get it. So if you don't want to get it, I'll put you on reefer. It's a requirement. To run dry. How many miles a week a driver can average? 2,500 to 3,000. What lanes are available? Over the road or do you have like regional uh, regional lanes for reefer? So the way our reefer runs, we run three different ways. We run Midwest to West Coast, we run Midwest to Texas, we run Midwest to Southeast. Everything runs out and back to the Midwest. If you want more miles, West Coast is where you can go. I can still keep you busy running the Midwest, Southeast, and Texas area as well. Are all miles paid and how is it calculated? If you're under a load, you're getting paid. We do pay empty miles as long as you're going to a load, but if you're, you're not gonna get paid to drive home, obviously. How, how, how are the miles calculated? Ram McNally, PeopleNet? Yes, Ram McNally. So, That's how we use our e-log too. All right, so it's, red, so it's Ram and Nelly, zip, uh, zip code to zip code. Yes. Yeah. All right, do you guys have an idle policy? Some of the trucks have APUs in them, some of them don't. If you don't have an APU, you can idle the truck. Do you reimburse for scales and toll? For company drivers, yes. What's the percentage of dropping hooks? Reaper's 50%. Dry van, it's going to be depending. All right, and we did talk about home time for, for a second there. So home time. Your home time policy for uh, for drivers is like what, 14 days out, two days on? Yep. Okay. What's the maximum amount of days I can take off? Depends on how long you've been running. Okay. Is there slip seating in the company? No, you will be assigned a truck. All right. What's the driver to fleet manager percent percentage? What's the what? What's the driver to fleet manager percentage? Oh, uh, 30, 30 to 40, somewhere in that range. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now you mentioned west, uh, Midwest to West Coast and Midwest to Eastern. Is there force dispatch to New York City and or California? We don't run the Northeast. That's it. And company drivers, there is force dispatch. We will work with you on where you want to run but it is still forced. If I decide- but We don't go to New York City. Gotcha. Oh, now that's a good thing. <laughs> if I decide, so yep. if I come on with the company and if I decide to quit, what will be the policy for turning in a truck? Bring it back to where you got it. What equipment do you offer? Are there autos or 10 speeds or both? Both. Now you already mentioned the divisions. I'm a, what divisions do you offer? So far you said reefer and drive-in. What, what other divisions do you guys offer? Mm, for company drivers, that's about what I need in Ohio. For driver comfort and company focus on its drivers, what amenities do you do you offer inside the truck? They should have fridges and inverters. They're both, they're all double bunks. Okay. Does the truck come with a drive cam system? No. What are the trucks governing that? 68 on the foot, 70 on the cruise. Do you have an open door policy? What do you mean? Uh, if I need to talk to someone other than my fleet manager, am I able to talk? 
Oh yeah. Uh, you can the terminals open. Do you guys offer a refresher course for drivers that haven't been driven uh, that haven't driven in a while? We do not. Alright. What's the number one reason to drive for a road runner? You'll bring home a paycheck if you're a runner. Alright, big man. Is there anything else that you can add that I haven't touched on? You asked me questions I haven't heard in two years, so I think you covered your bases. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. Well, what's your name again? My name is Brandon. Brandon, I really do appreciate the time that you took the to, to, to give me information about Roadrunner, man. I really do appreciate it. Is there a website that I can Not go to? Yeah, it's uh, jointheroadrunner.com. All right. How long have you been a recorder with, with the company? Oh, almost four years. Dude, you know your stuff, man. I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate it. So far, sure. so far, so good with Roadrunner. If you want to work, I'll put some money in your pocket. Just I appreciate it. It'll be fine. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Brandon. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day, man. All right. I heard about Roadrunner as well. They just recently started the reefer division. I mean, the reefer division is not even a year old. All right, well, there you have it. Road Runner. I am still here at Planet Fitness, which I am about to, uh, I'm about to go and get another run in and finish out my day at, I mean, finish out my day here at Planet Fitness. So, again, I am your host, Lockout Men makes the call thanks guys for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys have any questions that you want me to ask these recruiters out here leave it in the comments below if you have any places that you want me to call leave that in the comments below and tell me what have you thought of this particular call to roadrunner all right, let me know about that in the comments below as well. So I am about to end this episode. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a blessed day and stay chill. Stay chill. Peace.